was a big season for him. A lot of GM shaking their head for not going harder after him. Teodosic, and he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Splashed them one after another. It really was quite a display from the strike. You know, one thing about getting going at the free throw line like he has this season, it can continue to carry over. Here's Huey looking at his point production. He averages almost 11 points a game. Pass to Fernandez. Here's Navarro. Lock at six. It's deflected. Here's Teodosic. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Here's Ersig. That one a little long. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Fernandez dishes to Miritic. Off target at the rim. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Fires from the line. Miracic grabs the miss. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. And Yui kicks to Miracic. Connects from three-point range. Miracic has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Down low, here's Radulica. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. Here's Yui trying to find Miritic, gets it to him, and he gets it to go. Miritic has got five. Well, Clark, we've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. Yeah, we sure have. I mean, it's been a bit of a windshield wiper game. I mean, back and forth, the lead has gone five times, so no one in clear control yet. And, guys, I think each team knows they can win this game just a matter who can catch that momentum. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. And watch, Clark, how the game plays out because this is going to open things up on the perimeter. Here is Fernandez. He's definitely a factor in their offense, averaging 12 points a game. Miritich gets the bucket. He has seven. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Here's Ersig. Kicks it to Fernandez. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. <laughs> Quick hands on the steal. And then just mad hops on the slant. Great sequence for them defensively and Clark offensively. Well, one usually leads to the other, Kevin. That's just good, aggressive, attacking basketball at both ends. Here's Teodosic. Here's Bogdanovich. Here's the screen. Dishes it to Radulica. Here's Ersig. Two on the clock. Off target from outside. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. And that one's good. Fernandez has got six. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play. The pass to Bogdanovich. Out left to the wing. Teodosic sinks the triple. He's got six. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. And I think taking a time here to talk things over is a smart idea. One of the things you want to do is make sure everybody is clearly on the same page with the game plan. And sometimes you need a timeout to make sure that's the case. 
Here is Fernandez. He's got six. Now here is Miritic. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Yeah, high percentage shots are what they are getting in terms of the attempts, and that's just not going to get it done. They've got to figure it out. He got right to the cup using that screen. He's got eight. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Rodriguez outside. Now the dish to Vasquez. Rodriguez outside. Out to the right wing. And Miritich kicks to Rodriguez. Misses off the left iron. Good pick, but he, he just couldn't make it count. Yeah, nice job of setting the screen by his teammate there. And I'm sure he appreciated it. Here's Teodosic. He's got eight. Miritic brings the double team. Kuzmic the pass to Bogdanovich. Here's Ersig. The baseline J. That's good. And it's all knotted up. And both teams on fire from the opening tip. Well, I don't doubt it, Greg. We're going to have an entertaining game of basketball here today. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that's the case. Here is Fernandez. Six points for him. Here's Vasquez. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And the lead goes right back. What a seesaw affair we've got going on. This game's right there for the taking, but neither team can quite grab hold of it. Like a slippery bar of soap there. <laughs> Somebody's got to take charge here. Here's Ersig, defended by Fernandez. Inside. Second shot opportunity. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Passes it to Rodriguez. From deep. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Gone 7 of 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. There's the pick. The three ball. Offensive rebound. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one almost always deadly when he's that open. Nicola Meritich drafted as a late first-rounder Clark back in 2011. The Spanish star finally made his rookie debut in the NBA last season, and it was worth, it was worth the wait. It sure was, Kevin. I mean, once he started to get consistent PT, I mean, he was remarkable. Can run like the wind for a big guy, not that strong, but more aggressive than you'd think. And back to Meritich last season, per 36 minutes, he averaged 18 points, 9 rebounds. He was also a tremendous foul shooter for a rookie big and made the all-rookie first team, was second in rookie of the year voting. I mean, what more could you ask for? 